Apollo Federation is all about combining multiple GraphQL servers into a single cohesive API. From the outside, this looks like one well-crafted schema. In order to make this happen, we have to understand the at key directive. All right, two graphs without at key. They each have their own field on query, the product service returning products, and the review service giving us reviews for those products. If I compose these two graphs together using our Rover CLI, we get two separate fields on the now combined query type, exactly the fields that were in each of those graphs. If I need to show the rating of the top products though, we immediately see the problem with this approach. First, I need to fetch all the top products from the product service and then send those IDs back to get the ratings from the review service. In order to link those ratings to the products, each of the rating needs to have a product UPC field, which just feels like a duplicate. This isn't at all the famous GraphQL developer experience that we expect. We should have relationships expressed with types, not IDs, and we should be able to get everything we need in a single round trip. What we want is for a rating field to be directly on the product type, so that when we get a product, we can also get the rating. That's where the at key directive comes in. A key is a shared field that multiple services can agree on within a type. So our product type has data in both the review service, that's the rating field we want, and in the product service. So the product service and the review service need to agree on a field on that product type. In this case, we know that the review service knows about UPC because we were already passing it that in our previous query. So UPC is our key. That's the thing that's gonna tie together reviews and products. Let's tell Apollo Federation about this key. First, we're gonna add the link directive, which just enables all of Federation's features. And specifically, we tell it that we need at key. We can then add the at key directive to the product type because that's the one that we're identifying a key on. In this case, it's UPC. We can now reference the same type over in the reviews subgraph using the same steps. Add in the link, uniquely identify product, add in that key directive, and it looks very much the same as the type over in the product subgraph. But notice I don't have all the fields of product. Reviews doesn't need to know about them. All it needs is the key and the data it's adding. Last thing we do over here is clean up the query type. We don't need this top level field anymore to get the ratings because they're directly on the product type. There is a little bit more that needs to happen in practice because the code underneath the hood has to be updated in order to handle the new schema, but this is gonna look different depending on which programming language you're using or even between different libraries. So check out the link below to find the best fit for you. And in the meantime, we're gonna take a look at the end result. All right, we've got a freshly composed schema with our new types. We ask for top products and the ratings for those products. And in one round trip, we get exactly the data we want. The GraphQL experience we've come to know and love. Under the hood, the Apollo router is doing all the hard work for us, which we can see in this query plan. The router calls the product service to get that top products field, and then uses at key to fetch the ratings field from the review service, all in one big batch. Then it combines or flattens the data from both services together into one composed product type. From the outside, just a standard GraphQL query. Behind the scenes, the router does all the hard work for us. If we remove that ratings field, the review service won't be called. Again, exactly what we expect from GraphQL. We only fetch exactly what we need when we need it. That's it. That's the key to Apollo Federation, and now you're ready to get started with one of our tutorials. If you have any questions or just wanna say hi, join the Apollo Discord.